to day 28 of 31 days of Halloween. So, yes, as you can see by the title, today I'm doing a birthday cake mukbang. So I have a rather large piece of my birthday cake here. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to, you know, have a piece of cake and chat to you guys. Um, and just, yeah, I just wanted today's video to be really chill and just not really do a whole lot because I feel like, sorry, I'm just like moving uh, the position of the camera. Um, Cause yeah, I just feel like I wanted to have a bit of a chat to you guys today about this whole month and um, like with what's coming up on my channel um, next month and in December as well. So I'm just opening a can of Pepsi because I'm so healthy. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would do this over a giant slice of birthday cake and make it into a little mukbang. Um, so I have never done like a proper mukbang before, so or mukbang, I don't know how you say it. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dive into this cake because it's delicious. Um, so uh, I will put a picture up of like the cake before it got cut on the screen um, because it looks really awesome. It was a spiderweb cake because obviously I had like a Halloween party. Um, so I'm not going to try and eat with my mouth full. <laughs> but I know that's like the whole point of a mukbang. But I really hate talking with my mouth full of food. Um, but yeah, so here is like a picture of the cake before it got cut. It was pretty awesome and it's very orange. Um, the camera doesn't really pick it up very well, but it's a lot more orange than that, like the icing, and it's so good. I got it from the Cheesecake Shop, um, and yeah, we got it custom made, and it's really nice. It's like a three-tier cake, and it's really good. Um, so, let's get on with the video. So, this is day 28. Of 31 days of Halloween which is crazy I cannot believe that there are only how many days three days left 29 30 31 yeah three days left of 31 days of Halloween for this year this month has gone by so quickly I know that I say that like every year but it just went by really fast this year and it didn't even feel like October to me because I didn't do any like October activities like I didn't go to Fright Night um, and that kind of makes my October um, is going to Fright Night or going to something spooky um, and yeah it just didn't really feel like it was October for like most of this month um, so uh, it was kind of a weird one very weird October that's for sure but it was still really good still a lot of fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed all the videos um, Sorry, um, almost dropped a whole lot of uh, Pepsi there <laughs> um, as I was talking. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos this month. I feel like I put a lot of effort into these videos. Um, like I always put a, like a lot of effort into these videos. But I feel like this year I kind of like went up a bit with the quality of these videos and like all the topics and everything and um, yeah I'm just really proud without like how everything um, turned out like with how all the videos turned out um, and I hope that you guys liked them I was really shocked by some of the like the view counts on some of them like um, day 20 I got like over a thousand views which is crazy which was my tips for planning the perfect Halloween night in video I was not expecting that to get that many views um, and then like so many other videos got quite a few views as well like over a hundred views for some of them it's just crazy like I was not expecting that like at all so thank you for watching those videos I really appreciate it um, so yeah it's just like so crazy with how everything has turned out and I'm really proud because I made all those videos like I I make them, I edit them, I upload them, like it's just me, so I'm kind of proud of myself for doing that, so um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed all of the videos this year. I don't know if I'm going to do 31 Days of Halloween again next year, 
just because I feel like I have run out of ideas and I also feel like I have run out of costumes as well because I have so many costumes and I just don't want to keep like repeating the same costumes you know and like the same videos um but I don't know I just feel like this year was a good year to end it so I don't think I'm going to do 31 days of Halloween next year just because it takes a lot of work to do 31 days of Halloween like I have to pre-film majority of the videos I pre-film um, and it just takes up a lot of work you know like putting all the costumes together and like my background and everything and it's a whole month of uploading videos um, so it's just really crazy and um, yeah, I feel like this is maybe the last year of it. I don't know, it could return next year, but I don't know, it's just so much work. Like, you don't, don't really know how much work goes into it, um, because it's just me. I do every single thing, so it's kind of crazy of how much I put into it. And, um, yeah, I just feel like this year was a really good year, so it might be the last year, it might not be. But, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but for now, I think it might be the last year that I do 31 Days of Halloween. Um, not that I won't do it ever again, but just for now, I feel like it's a good like place to stop it. Because it's just been so crazy and um, yeah, I just am really proud of how everything turned out this year. And I feel like um, <clears throat> it's a good year to end it on. So... Um, don't be sad that it's like not coming back next year, but um, I'll probably do something else during October next year, um, but I just won't be uploading every single day. Um, but there still will be Halloween videos next year, that's for sure, but probably not 31 days of Halloween, which is sad, but I just feel like it's time for a break because it. I just like remembered this year how much it takes to put together and to like make all those videos and to like pre-film them all it takes a lot so um yeah I think I'm ready for a bit of a break because it just it's a lot for one person to do all that and I did do all of it so I feel like I deserve a bit of a break you know mm. but um it could be back in the future who knows just not next year maybe Maybe I'll do Vlogtober next year, um, where I'm vlogging every single day in October, but it's kind of like the same as Vlogmas, and I kind of like to leave that for Vlogmas, like the vlogging every single day thing, um, so I don't know, I probably won't do that, but it's an idea. Hmm. If you guys would like me to do Vlogtober next year, let me know. But like, you guys know that my life is not that exciting, so, <laughs> I don't know. Um, this cake is really good, by the way. It's a sponge cake. Even though it's from the cheesecake shop, it's a sponge cake. Because you can get more than just a cheesecake from the cheesecake shop, so. It's a chocolate sponge, and it's really good. I was going to go for a mud cake, but their mud cakes are usually really, really rich. Um, and I didn't want anything too rich, so this is good. It's like really nice and soft and fluffy. And the icing's not too sweet either. It's really good. Um, but yeah. It's just been a crazy year this year. Obviously with everything that's going on. Um, it's just been so crazy. So I'm really looking forward to next year. Hopefully we'll get to do more things and travel more next year. Um... So yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what next year brings us. Hopefully more positive things than negative. <laughs> Not that like it's been it hasn't been negative for me, thankfully. Like I haven't lost that much with like the coronavirus. Um because I didn't have a job before. Sorry. I could just feel that I was like about to choke, so I need just to take a drink. Um But yeah, I didn't really, thankfully I didn't really lose that much from, like, when COVID hit, um, and I'm, like, really grateful for that, obviously, but it's just been kind of, like, a bit of a sad and boring year, because we haven't really been able to do that much, and one thing that I miss so much is going to concerts. You guys know me, I love going to a concert, and 
I haven't gone to anything this year, so it's just been really sad and just, I don't know, um, but I know there's more important things in life than going to concerts, but I miss going to concerts so much, and I miss going to musicals. I haven't seen a musical in so long. I think the last musical I saw was probably Matilda, the musical, um, and that was in 2017, I think, or was it 2016? Actually, no, I think it was 2017. Um, that was the last musical I saw or was Matilda, so it's been so long since I saw a musical. Um, Frozen is meant to be coming to Australia, like Frozen the musical. Um, I think it's starting in Sydney, so if that does come to Brisbane, I do want to see that. Um, and I think also Hamilton is meant to come, but I don't know. I'm not really, like, into Hamilton. I haven't seen it, so I haven't really listened to the music that much, so I don't know. Um... Sorry, I'm burping now. Um, but, yeah, so, I just really miss, like, doing stuff like that. Like, going to concerts and musicals and haven't been able to do any of that this year. It's just really sad. So, hopefully next year there'll be more concerts. I do have some concerts line up uh, for next year. Um, so, hopefully I'll get to go to them. Um, so, yeah, and other things, like... Um, I have a comedy show that I was meant to go and see earlier this year, um, but that got postponed until next year, so hopefully I'll get to see that as well. And yeah, like, the only show I saw this year was, um, <clears throat> I saw Jack Whitehall at the start of this year in February, or was it January? It was either January or February, like, literally right before, um, like, lockdown. So that was the only show that I saw this year, so that was good. Um, but, um, I didn't see any concerts, so... Oh, I just miss going to concerts so much. So I think that's one of the main things that I miss um, about this year is going to concerts. And Fright Night, obviously, I miss Fright Night so much this year. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait for next year. Hopefully next year, Fright Night will be just bigger and better than ever before. And I feel like it, uh, it definitely will. Um, I feel like next year is going to be a really good year. So um, also, speaking of Fright Night... Tomorrow's video, I'm going to be reacting to, um, like, my old Fright Night vlogs. So, I'm really excited for that. It's going to be kind of cringy because I first started going to Fright Night in 2012. Um, so, and I have a video of that, of me going there in 2012. So, it's going to be really cringy for me. But, um, I hope you guys will like that video tomorrow. It's going to be kind of funny. So, I'm really looking forward to <laughs> looking. I haven't, like looked up those videos in so long, it's going to be really cringy, um, because, yeah, in 2012, how old was I in 2012? I was, was I 16 in 2012? Or, hang on, 2012, was I 16 or 17? Yeah, I was 17, because, um, 16 or 17, because I turned 18 in 2013, so yeah, I was either 16 or 17 in that first Fright Night vlog. Um, because obviously, um, my birthday's in October, so, and I don't remember when we went to Fright Night that year. Could have been at the start of October or the end of it, but I was either 16 or 17 in that video, so, yeah, that's going to be cringy to watch. So, you guys have that to look forward to tomorrow. It's going to be interesting and hilarious, and, yeah, so that's going to be a good video tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I feel like... That's everything that I have to say to you guys. I know this is such like a fail of a mukbang, but this is my first one, so I just wanted to eat some cake, you know. Mmm. So good. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to eat some cake and have a big old chat to you guys. Um, and I hope you guys have liked, I know I've said this so many times, but I hope that you really have liked 31 days of Halloween this year. Um, so, I feel like it's been a pretty good year and I'm really happy with how my background turned out. Um, so, hopefully I will be back at my background tomorrow. Um, I just didn't film um, there the lot, like yesterday's video and today's video. Um, but tomorrow I should be back in front of the background for you guys. And um, yeah, and then only a few more days left and then Halloween and October is over for another year. It's so sad, but I'm really excited. I'm excited to get into my costume. My auntie has actually invited me to go trick-or-treating 
with her and my cousins. <coughs> um, sorry, I'm burping. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna go or not. Um, I might go. Um, depending on like how I feel on that day, on Saturdays. So I don't know. Um, I feel like I'll be a, a big hit with the kids with my costume because I'm going to be Anna from Frozen 2. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm, go I'm gonna go trick or treating or not. I don't know. We'll see what I feel like on the day. Um, so yeah, I just have never been trick or treating before. So <laughs> it should be interesting going trick or treating as a 25 year old. But it'll be okay because I have my younger cousins who are four and five so um i feel like it'll be okay if i went with them but i think my other cousin is coming as well with her baby um so yeah um it's gonna be like uh interesting so um i don't know if i'm gonna go or not but i should probably get back to her and see um what i feel like doing on that day so yeah it also depends on the weather because if it's going to be hot, I'm going to be so sweaty in my costume because my costume is really long. Um, it's, um, you guys have seen it, it's my uh, Anna dress from, or costume from Frozen 2. Um, so it's like really long sleeved and it's like a really long dress as well. And I have a cape and I'm going to be wearing boots as well with it. So it's going to be a really warm costume. So if it's like a really hot day, then I don't think I'll go. Although it will be in the evening, but... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see on the weather and on like how I'm feeling if I really want to go. So I don't know, I might go trick-or-treating, I might not. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so those are the plans for actual Halloween if I do um, intend to go trick-or-treating. So yeah, it'll be my first time ever trick-or-treating at age 25. So it's kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, I was one of those kids that was deprived of trick-or-treating because we don't really have it here. But it is starting to, Halloween is starting to become a thing here in Australia, which is making me very happy because I've been celebrating it for a while now and I love it. So I'm happy that it's finally like becoming a thing, you know? Um, so yeah, I think that is everything that I have to say to you guys. I don't think there's anything else that I have to catch you guys up with. I'm going to finish this cake um, off camera because I feel like if I eat any more of it and I talk at the same time then I'm going to be like choking all over the place so um, yeah I hope you guys liked that little mukbang um, I, it wasn't like the best mukbang ever but it was my first proper mukbang so I hope you guys liked it I know it's very random but I just wanted to test it out and see um, what you guys think of it. So if you guys want more mukbangs in the future, then let me know. But if not, then that's okay. Because <laughs> I know this wasn't the best mukbang ever, but it was my first one. So you're gonna give me, gonna give me a break. It was my first one ever. So, um, I just wanted to, like, test the waters with it, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to head off for now. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow for day 29 of 31 days of Halloween. Alright, bye guys.